Hi guys, I'm Blair from GoodSignal.com. Um, today's landing page review, I'm really pleased to say, is a positive one. Um, I found a site here which I think has some really excellent features which should hopefully uh, help you to see um, you know, what a good landing page looks like um, and maybe some ideas that you can take across into your own site to change a few things to, uh, to help it convert more people from the landing page through to deeper areas in the site. So let's start by taking a quick overview. Uh, obviously the logo is in the top left. You know, really basic navigation top right. We'll come to that in a moment. This main sort of window in the center of the viewing area here. Once again, really light on text. It doesn't bog you down. You a key tagline that lets you know what it's all about. A key action area. I've actually clicked off the mouse, but the cursor is flashing in there as soon as you arrive with a really big usability interface here as a search bar, really big clear button at the end. Um, if you scroll down, nicely segregated area, some text on the left and some, some clear action areas on the right. The text itself is a good size heading, some bullet point um, text. A couple of options over on the right here with a really obvious button. Um, and it goes on further down the page, but those are the main elements which I'm, which I'm going to cover in some more detail now. But as a general overview, I think you can see that it's a, it's a really calmly laid out page with really clear areas um, that have been built with a really good information hierarchy, and I'll explain that a little bit as we go through. Um, so to, to start with then, if you think of the, the main role that you know someone would come to the site you know and uh, they're obviously searching for for images uh, and a key task is going to be for search for probably specific images that are meeting the project or whatever needs that they're that they're, they're working on so with that main role and key task in mind then the most prominent feature on the page you'd expect to see would be the search facility which it is and you know that sounds really basic but it's not always the case um, so i think these guys have nailed that you know really really good um, so the main role and the main task is the most prominent thing on the page and it's obvious and easy um, to, to use. So that's great. I suppose a secondary task that someone in that role might want to achieve would be to learn more about plans or pricing. So with the instantaneous sort of field of view for the average user that I've got set here, you can see that in the top right in a key action area, there's a button that says see plans and pricing. Now, back to information hierarchy, it's not as important as people actually using the search facility and diving into the site. So yeah, I'm quite pleased to see that this button is a, if I just zoom in there, you can have a little closer look. You know, it's a relevant size. It's not too big but it's a good button it looks like a button and it's got good contrast if we actually scroll the page down then if the person if the user doesn't go into the search facility and, and start completing that main user um, task then they're probably looking for more information so in that uh, situation the secondary task of learning more about price could become the primary task if, if you get my drift so under those conditions, you can see then that the pricing is all of a sudden taking you know, more of a center stage in the information hierarchy. You know, really clear what you get, how much you have to pay, and then a really obvious big button down here to see plans and pricing. So for my money, that really demonstrates a good understanding of the user role and the tasks and how those tasks might change um, depending on whether or not the user you know, goes ahead straight away and, and takes that first step or whether or not they look elsewhere on the page. So I think that's really cool. On the left hand side with the text, this is a really good example of take as much text as there is in your page and just prune it and prune it and prune it and separate it out into key points that answer questions that your users are likely to have. So premium images, yeah, great, I want quality. Millions of them, brilliant, I'm only going to have to look at this site. Serious bang for your buck, they're not going to cost me a lot. We make it easy, really easy. Okay, so obviously their pricing and things like that and the actual purchase process is really straightforward. So without too much effort at all, I've really absorbed everything that I need to know. I know what they offer, I know why I should be excited by it, I know what they cost, and I know how to take action so as a landing page, this really works well. It's got a good hierarchy, a good sense of user roles and user tasks, and I think it's all prioritized um, quite well. So yeah, visit thinkstockphotos.com, uh, think take a look around, and, uh, and let me know what you think. Uh, my name's Blair, and this was Good Signal.